Hi, if you want to transfer your video files from your iPhone to your PC, sometimes you face with an issue that the device is unreachable. Let me show you what do I mean. So for example, I want to transfer this video file from my iPhone to my PC. So it transfers at the beginning and at the end it starts and says the system does not function properly, the device is unreachable. Now assuming that you have already tried all the simple solutions like um, different USB port or different cables and so on, the main solution that you find uh, on the internet is that you basically go to setting and then you go to photos and here from photos you scroll down and then instead of automatic so transfer to mac or pc instead of automatic you change it to keep original um, and then in this case if you reconnect the cable of iphone to your computer you will be able to transfer all the videos to your computer but let us look at this video file this is right now 45.9 megabyte i'll reconnect uh, my iphone to my computer and we will see the volume of that file So we can see that this file right now is 20.8 megabyte because the previous format it has a different type of codecs that you need um, that is good for you basically that you need to edit the video it will help you to edit the video but right now this one it does not have them so if i i can actually transfer this file to my computer but if i want to edit this file for example on adobe premiere i will have some issues for example, if I want to run, you see that this one does not run properly. And if I move it, then it does not run properly actually. The frame doesn't change and so on. Um, you can actually transfer all these files to your computer and then use um, another software to basically um, add or change the format to something proper. But that, that one will take a lot of time. Um, so that is not what really I want. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to return, back, return that one back to automatic. So now the question is, how can we transfer files to our PC? Now, first I have one tip for, the any, for any future videos that you're going to record with your iPhone. Basically, you go to camera and then to format. And instead of high efficiency here, instead of high efficiency, you select most compatible. So if you do so from now onward, whatever video that you capture with your iPhone um, will have proper format and you will be able to transfer them to your computer. Now let me I show you. I will reconnect the cable to my computer. I don't want this file deleted. Okay. So with this new setting, uh, I mean, in the camera, we have most compatible format. I have already captured these two videos. So these two last videos are with that setting. And in the photo, the setting is automatic. So you can see that I can easily transfer these files to my computer. So there is no issue with that. And now the important thing is that I can actually edit these files easily in Adobe Premiere. No problem. So Adobe Premiere can basically read them easily it does not have any issue with uh, opening them and running them so this is good so this is the prop this is the solution for any future video that you are going to save with your iphone now how can i transfer this previous files you can see this one is the same file as this but this one as i explained it's the volume is much less compared to that one this is 45 this is 20. Now i change the name of this to something different if I want to transfer that file to my computer, I will have an issue because this one was captured with the most efficient format on the camera. So that's why it cannot basically transfer the file to your computer. Now, how can I transfer this file to my computer? The solution is that first you remove the cable, you turn off your iPhone and then turn it on again. The first time that you connect the cable to your iPhone, you will be able to transfer one of these files to your computer. Maybe sometimes two files or three files, but then again, you will face that issue. So basically, for every file, you have to restart your phone and then re 
after you connect the cable, you will be able to transfer file to your computer, one file at least. Maybe in some occasion, even if you restart, then and you connect the cable, you will not be able to transfer the file. You have to again restart your phone. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to actually restart my phone and we will see whether we can transfer this file to my computer with this volume, like with the automatic format. Okay, so now I have restarted the phone. I will reconnect the iPhone to my computer. So you can see that this file right now is again 45 megabytes, while this previous one was 20 megabytes, the one that is with kept original. But now I can transfer actually this file to my computer because I have restarted my phone and this is the first file that I'm transferring. Do you see that? I can transfer that. Maybe even the second file, I can transfer it. Or maybe not. If, if it doesn't work, you have to restart it again. So this, you can see that again, we face this problem. Now I'm going to restart again, and you will see that we will be able to transfer the second file. Basically, I mean, by restart, I mean you turn off your computer, your mobile phone, and then turn it on again. Okay, so now I will reconnect the phone to my computer. And you can see that this file was the one that we failed to transfer it. Now I will be able to transfer this file. And then I can also try the next file. Maybe it works. Maybe not. No, it doesn't work. Um, so I have to again restart my phone and transfer the next file. So this is basically the procedure that you have to follow to transfer all the previous files. And for the new files, you will not have any issue. So for example, I will restart my phone again. Okay, so the phone is now restarted. And I will be able to transfer the last file. Well, of course, this one is very inefficient method, but it works if you really have no other option. And now we are able to transfer all of five. Of course, these previous files, I can transfer them. That one, uh, what? Maybe, maybe, oh, because it's, it's used by another thing. So I can delete these two, for example. Or maybe it's because used by this software now. Uh, so let me I delete this file. And I can of course easily transfer those files that are captured with most compatible format. This is they they can be easily transferred, that is no problem. Alright, so this is how you transfer your files from your iPhone to your computer and overcome this nasty error. Bye!